Namaste, and welcome back to a continuing journey to the Ashtavakra Gita. Today we continue this profound journey to the continuation and ending of chapter 18, where Ashtavakra is offering a hundred verses on pure non-duality and peace. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 18, Part 10, Peace. Ashtavakra said, He who is without desire excels. Be he a beggar or a king, he no longer sees good or bad. What is lust or restraint or the desire for truth to the yogi who has reached life's goal and who embodies virtue and sincerity? The inner experience of one who is free of desire and suffering, who is content and reposes in self, how can it be described and of whom? The wise one's state never varies. Sleeping soundly, he is not asleep. Lying in reverie, he is not dreaming. Eyes open, he is not wakeful. The man of knowledge seems to think but has no thoughts. He seems to have sense perceptions but does not experience. He seems to have intelligence but is empty-minded. He appears to be a person but is not. The man of knowledge is neither happy nor miserable, neither detached nor attached, neither liberated nor seeking liberation. He is neither this nor that. Even while distracted, the Blessed One is still. In meditation, he does not meditate. In ignorance, he remains clear. Though learned, he knows nothing. The liberated one who abides unconditionally in self who is free of the concept of action and duty, who is always and everywhere the same, is desireless. He does not worry about what he did or did not do. The wise one is neither pleased by praise nor annoyed by blame. He neither rejoices in life nor fears death. One of tranquil mind seeks neither crowds nor wilderness. He is the same wherever he goes. Wow, what a beautiful end to chapter 18 with Ashtavakra rounding off with a hundred verses on pure non-duality and peace. So many gems hidden within these beautiful and profound verses. I hope you're able to hear these verses again and to go deeper and find the underlying gems that lie hidden within. Leave me a comment and let me know how these verses made you feel. Do share this with someone who you feel will benefit from joining this journey. I look forward to seeing you in chapter 19 as we continue this profound journey through the Ashtavakra Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.